Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download and install the Yandex web browser. So this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up any web browser you currently have installed on your computer. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to open up Microsoft Edge here. And then you want to navigate over to google.com. Most of you should be familiar with the site. And into Google, you want to type in Yandex Browser Download. And then you want to hit Enter to begin the search. And you want to select one from the Yandex domain. So if you're looking at it from a different language, I'm going to select the English version here because it appears there's one in, I believe, Russian. And I'm going to select the English download. So we can either download the beta version right here or we can click on other versions. So you want to click on this download version for Windows right here. If assuming you're running a Windows PC. If you're running a Macintosh, you can select other versions and it appears there's a version for Macintosh OS as well. And as well as for Linux operating systems. And it's gonna ask what you want to do with this file. It's about 74 megabytes, so it's pretty big. You want to save it, and this will take a few moments depending on your internet speed. So you just want to be patient. The download will take a little bit of time. Okay, so it should say the Yandex executable finished downloading here. And depending on what web browser you're using, it might look a little bit different. You want to select Run once it's finished downloading. And you can close out of the web browser at this time. I'll have to click on this install button right here. And if you receive a user account control window, you want to select Yes. Okay, so we can see that it currently says another browser set to the default browser. If you want to say Yandex is the default, you can select it right here. And if you wanted to hide these alerts in the future, you could check mark inside of this don't shows window again box. So whichever you prefer. But I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. 
And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.